Welcome back, everyone. All right, it's Mr. Sullivan again here from Germany. I want to talk to you today about percent change, all right? So why are we doing this? We want to be able to describe things and, and how much they change, whether they go up if it's an increase or whether they go down if it's a decrease. But we want to be able to describe it in terms of a percent because sometimes if we're dealing with really large numbers, it may seem like it's a really big change. Like if I go from a million dollars to two million dollars, it seems like a really big change. It is. It's a lot. It's a whole million more dollars, right? But did it change as much as if I went from one dollar to three dollars? Well, not quite, right? So percent change we're going to talk about. Um, as a way to describe how much things change. So let's take a look at this first one. Mr. Bruss is super strong. His original lift was 50 pounds. Oh, what a hulk. But now he can lift 70 pounds. Describe the change in the lift. All right, so let's think about this. Remember, we talked about is over of equals percent over 100. This is not quite what we're doing, right? It's not quite exactly the same thing, but we do have some of the things that are the same. So we know the 100, and we don't know what percent change it is, all right? Now, I want you to understand, I said this is percent change. So that's really important because remember this of, so what are we talking of? Well, we had two things, and I know that it would be tempting to say that 70 is the of because it's the bigger number, but this is what we're in relation about. Everything is about what he started with, his original. So his original was 50 pounds, all right? Now up here, we want to find a percent change, so this needs to be some kind of change on top because they have to relate, right? So this is the whole, the whole we started with. This is our change. So how much did he change? Well, he went from 50 to 70. Well, that's that's a change of 20 pounds. So now we can cross multiply. 20 times 100 is 2,000. 50 times x is 50x. We can divide both sides by 50. And then we find that X is 40%. So he had a change of 40%. Was it a, uh, an increase or a decrease? That's another thing. We need to label this, don't we? So we need to say that it was a 40% increase. So when he went from 50 pounds to 70 pounds, he actually increased his weight by 40%. All right. Great job, Mr. Brust. So let's talk here. I want to relate everything to what we have been doing. So we've been talking about part over whole. This is the same thing as is over of, right? Percent over 100. Now we're talking about change over the original. So the change, we are going to have to subtract. All right? Over here, we're going to have to subtract. And I don't want you to worry about any negative numbers. So whatever the bigger number is, that's the one we're going to do first. So let's go over here. Let's see what we have here. So we have our percent over 100. We don't know. Up here we have our change. So that's 140 minus 80. And then our original is always going to go on the bottom. So our original is 140. And sometimes that's tricky. We get lost. So we have x over 100. 140 minus 80 is 60 over 140. We can cross multiply. And we get 140x equals 6,000. And when I divide both sides by 140, let's see, what is 6,000 divided by 140? It looks like x is going to be 42.9%. Now, we also need a description here. Our original was bigger than our new, so that's a decrease. That is a decrease, okay? I want you to pause the video right now and try this one over here all by yourself. So go ahead right now and pause that. All right, hopefully you pause the video and you try this one. So I found the change here. Remember, I subtract. I did 92 minus 35 because I don't want to worry about negative numbers, so I did the bigger one first. 
I got 57 over 35. Remember the original number goes on the bottom. I cross multiplied, I got 5700 equals 35x. I divided by 35 and I got 162.9% and it was an increase because from our original to our new, we increased. All right, let's take a look at this one. Kaiser Slaughter High School had 630 students to start the year. By the end of the year, they had 580 students. So we know that it's going down. All right, describe the change in population. So let's take a look at this. We have our original is 630. So we know that's going to go on the bottom in the denominator. And we're going to do 630 minus our new of 580. All right, and that's going to equal x over 100. All right, so 630 minus 580 is 50 over 630. Cross multiply, and I get 5,000 equals 630x. Divide by 630. And what do we get? Just a small little number. I like tenths for this one, all right, guys? So it goes down, it's a decrease of 7.9%. That's not that big, is it? All right, but it's still a decrease. It's okay. See, these numbers, it looks like a big drop. It looks like 50 kids looks like a big drop, but in comparison to the original number, which is also a big number, it's not as big as it appears. All right. Kamiko scores 12 points in her first basketball game. In her second game, she scores 25. So this is her original. This is her new. Okay. So let's see what we got. Our change would be 25 minus 12 over her original, which is 12. And then we don't know the percent change over 100. Here we go. So I have 12x equals... 25 minus 12 is 13, so 1,300. Divide both sides by 12, and x equals 108.3%. She increased her points by a whole 100%. So she got all 12 points. That's 100%. And 8.3% more. That's why she got the 25%. All right. So that is 108. That's an increase. That's just as important as anything else. You need to make sure that you really have that in there. Okay. All right. This last one, I want you to pause. I want you to try this one on your own. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kelly, for having some great pictures on your Facebook. It just really helps me out on these videos. So pause this one and try it on your own. All right, I sure hope you paused this one and tried it on your own because that's really important. This is the first attempt in learning for you, all right? And you need to really figure out if you know how to do this. So let's take a look here. His original craziness score was a 74.5 and his new score is 122.4. I subtracted those here, put it over the original score, 74.5. I got 47.9 over 74.5. And then when I divided it out, I got a 64.3% increase in his craziness score. All right, which is about right if you know him. So um, uh, thank you, Mr. Kelly, for always entertaining us uh, in class and on the videos and whatnot. All right, so that's it for me today. I want you to go out there. Make sure you understand everything. If you're not sure, don't hesitate. Ask somebody. Ask a teacher. Ask Mr. Bruss. Ask, ask whoever your teacher is. All right, get the help you need and go out there and show everyone that you know how to do math and math is easy and fun. All right, have a great day. We'll see you next time.